you ever wondered how to do that slow zoom or have an image just fly across your screen? Well, I'm going to teach you how to use keyframes to do those very simple, easy effects in CapCut. Hi, my name's Lindsay, and I do CapCut tips and tricks. If you like this type of content, give me a follow to learn more. Comment on this video what other CapCut tips and tricks you're looking for and favorite this video for later reference. So in order to do this type of editing in CapCut, you're going to use the keyframes. The keyframes are those little diamonds that are on your screen, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Once you're in CapCut, you're going to want to use these diamonds up here. These diamonds are called keyframes. And so you're going to drop a diamond at the start of where you want your effect to begin, and then a diamond at the end. And then on your last diamond, you're going to zoom in to where you want your zoom to end. So what's going to happen between the two keyframes is it's actually going to just slowly move from the first frame to the second frame. So the further apart they are, the slower your effect will be, the closer together, the faster it will be. Now to do the image, it's the same thing. So you're going to find a sticker. Let's do a flying monkey. Find a monkey sticker here. We're going to put it on the screen and then we're actually going to put it off the screen just a little bit. We're now going to mark a key frame. That's going to be our first frame. Now we're going to move in our video where we want the monkey to end going off the screen on the other side. Mark a key frame and move the monkey over there. Now you see when we play it, the monkey just glides across the screen. I hope this was helpful and that you now know a little bit more about keyframes.